Hi everyone, good morning. It's February 16th, 8.41 right now. Checking in quickly before um, I go on into the studio for our nine o'clock show. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to jump on here and check in with you on Facebook Live. So I just wanted to take a moment and do that as I'm going through our scripts and getting ready again for our nine o'clock show. Listen, it was a tricky, tricky morning in a lot of areas, icy conditions, slick conditions. Um, if you were with us throughout the morning, I think Samaya did such a great idea, really showing you what it was like, specifically in the Bristol area. That's where she was. She was traveling around the Mum City this morning, showing you just how icy it was. We had a few accidents this morning, slowdown obviously starting to improve out there still raining uh, coming down hard in some areas Gil will have more on that for you coming up in our nine o'clock hour but just be careful still there could be some icy spots out there uh, let's talk about some of our top stories that we're covering this morning something other than weather that Kent has been talking about it's been, I mean, a big topic a hot topic for a long time I'm talking about religious exemptions so there's going to uh, be a public hearing today, obviously, in true 2020-2021 fashion. It's going to be virtual, but you can tune in and you can hear. And people are just going to be talking uh, and sharing their beliefs in regards to, you know, those exemptions. Should children be forced to get vaccinated or should it still be the parent's choice or, you know, up to your religion and what you believe and practice, I guess. So that's a big topic. Kent's going to be talking more about that from the Capitol. Uh, we're going to have Laura's story about children in crisis. I'm really looking forward to this. It aired for the first time last night in the 11 o'clock hour. I wasn't able to see it, obviously, because I was sleeping, but it's so timely. She's talking about how the pandemic is impacting children and how they are coping with all that's going on. There's uh been a lot that they've had to deal with between missing out on play dates, remote learning, going to school, going back home. A lot of things um, have changed for them, like all of us, right? But how are kids coping? So she's going to have a more uh, in-depth look at that for you and some tips on how to, you know, uh, help our children through this. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. That's going to be in our nine o'clock show as well and um, obviously bringing you the latest in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic nationally here in Connecticut our numbers and the vaccination rollout Connecticut is still one of the leading states in the vaccination rollout I believe we were number four so that's some good news uh, Governor Ned Lamont's actually expected to get his vaccine his first shot today he's 67 so now he falls in the phase where adults 65 and older can get vaccinated and he said that he chose to wait until really it was his time and now it is his time he wanted to give first response frontline workers, those 75 and older, uh, the chance to get the vaccine before he received it. But now is his time and he's expected to get that today. So we'll be following that for you. And we're following a few um, investigations happening in the Elm City. Something that Shana Ferreira has been covering is the latest on the investigation after two people were found uh, dead after an apparent overdose in the uh, in a supply closet of Jack's Steakhouse in New Haven. And then another person was found outside of that supply closet, also said to have been um, suffering from an overdose. That person is expected to be okay, but again, two people died from an apparent overdose. Still learning more about that. Shane has been doing a great job covering the latest and she'll have more on that for you coming up in our nine o'clock hour. Uh, so we have a lot going on. We hope you join us. Let's see, it's 8.45 right now. Uh, have to get into the studio, but I quickly did want to jump on here and say good morning. Let's check in. Oh, Marcus, that's very nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Richard is checking in. Good morning to you. Tony is on. Hello, hello, Bob. Tell your friend. Uh, oops, where'd everyone go? Dave, I think you said, tell him I said hi. Dan, good morning to you. All right, we have a lot of people on here. I appreciate it. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Again, still icy in some areas, and we're expecting more winter weather Thursday. So February is just not kind. February has not been nice to us, but 
eventually it will be spring and then it'll eventually be summer. That's how I look at it, right? Okay, have a great day, guys, and I will check back in with you tomorrow here on Facebook Live. See you in Good Morning Connecticut at 9.